what is going on guys welcome back to another android application development video in android studio in this video we are going to learn how to create a simmer effect while loading the content in our android application so at the end of this video we are going to achieve this so this is simmer effect or loading effect and after some second data is displayed so let's get started so i have already created a new project where we have hello world text i have done nothing so first thing first let's add dependency so go to gradle script and build at gradle in dependencies add dependency for simmer effect and click on sync now once it is sync you can close this we will create a new layout go to resource layout and right click new layout resource file i'll give the name my item and make this constant layout to relative layout click on split i will add a image view over here to be of 200 dp give the height also 200 dp center in parent true id as image view and i will give a source for now i am adding this logo i'll copy this and in drawable i will paste it i'll give the source for this image view that is our logo below this i will add a text view with match parent height i will give 40 dp for now i will set it below image view i will give a text an email id i will make it a text color as black text size as uh, 20 dp and i will center it as a gravity so it will look like this i will give some margin also 20 dp now our item layout is ready so let's copy all these items and go to layout and create a new layout that will be for my item placeholder click on split and paste it over here so here we will remove the source and instead of source we will add a background that will be gray background so d d d d and also we will remove this text and add a background that will be gray background so our placeholder is also ready so let's go to activity main.xml let's remove this text view make this constant layout to relative layout and add a linear layout here linear layout match parent match parent i will add id that will be our data view orientation i will set it vertical and gravity i will set it center inside this linear layout i will include my item so include layout that we just created that is my item so my item is visible here so i'll copy this entire in linear layout and paste it above it and replace this linear layout with simmer frame layout i will give the id that will be simmer view and instead of my item i will add my item placeholder so in this way we have added one simmer layout and one linear layout that is our data layout so let's go to main activity now and create the reference of those layout first is simmer layout and another linear layout i will give the name data layout now simmer frame layout is equal to find view by id r dot id dot simmer view data layout equals to find view by id r dot id dot data view so when app is loaded first we will hide the data layout so data layout dot set visibility invisible and then we will start animation simmer animation so simmer frame layout dot start simmer animation this will start the animation this should be done while doing the api call so i have not implemented api call here so i will give delay of some 5 seconds to simulate the api call so i will create a handler handler equals to new handler so handler dot post delayed add a lambda and i will give the sec 5000 milliseconds and after 5 seconds and after 5 seconds we will make data layout visibility as visible shimmer frame layout dot stop shimmer animation and shimmer frame layout dot set visibility we will set it to invisible so in this way after 5 second data layout will be visible and simmer frame layout will be invisible so let's run it so our app is running and yes we can see the simmer effect 
after 5 second data is visible so I will run it again so simmer effect is there while loading the data after 5 second it will show the actual data so thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you please don't forget to subscribe for this type of videos see you in the next video bye bye